in my last video of WNDLC Theory, I said that Bonnie was, Glam Up Bonnie was not going to be in it. But after some thinking, I think he actually will be inside this Ruin DLC. So what's up everyone, today we are going to be doing another theory on maybe why Bonnie would be inside the Ruin DLC and why Sun and Moon will actually be evil. Today will be a double theory, so let's get right into it. So first of all, we know that in the ending of, we know the popular theory that Burn Trap was used with Bonnie's parts, that's why we do not see him. We just don't see him because he was used and scrapped. So Fanny or Vanessa could use the parts to for Afton. Another part of the theory is that Vanessa lured Lord or lured Monty and Bonnie into the same room. No, he lured Bonnie into Monty Golf. Monty got mad and could destroy him. And Vanessa would take Bonnie away to use him for his parts on Afton. That's why I didn't really think he would be in it because he was scrapped, he was gone, he was destroyed, he was all his parts were used. Then thinking, it's Afton. He wouldn't just throw out an animatronic like that. He would use it. We've seen him done that many times with whether it be the blob or some mangled thing, yet yeah, he still uses it. Because you can see the remnant inside of it. The Some of the masks are glowing still. It's still active. You can see the Scrapper and Chronics, Molten Freddy, Ennard, a mangled up piece. He still used that for his experiments. This is why I think he used Bonnie. If we see this image right here, I've turned up the brightness, the exposure, turned on the contrast, I up the highlights, the shadows, the vintage, or the vignette, whatever, I don't really care. See here, there's something holding this Bonnie animatronic. I can tell it's a Bonnie because it has the same stru facial structure as Bonnie, and it has those ears. I said in the last episode, it can't be him. The face is not right. The ears are too floppy. But yeah, Afton would, could have used it for Glitch Trap. He could have used this, like, the spare parts that he, Bonnie still has to put Glitch Trap into it. To give Glitch Trap a better form and make it more powerful. He could have put Glitch Trap into this and... While, and while he used some of the parts for his own suit. The reason why I think this is because there is no other physical way that Bonnie could have gotten to this state, to this glitchy, just amalgamation. So it must, someone must have tampered with it and got it to that. So I think Afton did that, put Glitchtrap into the suit, or not right into the suit, he put it into the chip that Bonnie had. So you know what most mostly every animatronic has like some sort of circuit board or motherboard. We see that inside fetch, one of the things there is like a circuit board slash motherboard thing where like you could turn it off and on and stuff. And we see, and we could probably possibly see that with these. Or or this could also be just an illusion disc that's very popular. But We'll talk about right here. Something, if we go back to the trailer. You get this message. We go to right here. Someone or something is holding it. Either holding it or behind it. So let's bring down the volume a lot. Someone or something is behind it, either holding it like a toy. Or maybe like kind of puppeteering it. Also, if we slow it down a lot. It does have a leg. Something like a leg. You can see it better right here. Let me 
you can see, we don't see it very clearly. You can see its face, its ears. Yeah, something is clearly either behind it or maybe it's way bigger than we thought it was. Maybe it's like a blob sized thing. And I originally thought, oh, maybe Glitch Trap was behind it, like a kind of using it as like a puppet almost. And I'm thinking that this could be uh, something other than Glitch Trap. It could be a new character. Maybe Athen is behind it. Maybe Vanny. It could be someone new. It could be someone old. It could be a returning character. But that's what I think. That clearly is someone is behind it either puppeteering it or kind of like backing it up, making sure it doesn't fail on him or whoever it is. We clearly see the outline. There's a, I need to get a better cut on that. Oh, it's even worse. Will yellow work? Yeah, that'll definitely work. See here, there's like some sort of gear it looks like. Maybe Let's see a shoulder piece, like bars almost, because he doesn't really have any clear arm at the most part. A long and gated maybe finger almost. It looks like a, an elongated finger, tampered with by glitch trap or Afton. Something that's clearly behind it, as you can see. Something that's behind it, we can have it come up like that. It has some sort of like face maybe right here. I'm just gonna I'm just trying to trace it out to make it make it a little bit more visible. There's clearly, wait a minute, that looks like, kind of looks like Vanessa. Nose, mouth, eye, something maybe else. Ear, maybe like an elongated ear and a hand maybe. Ear, another ear. Or it could be something like from sideways, like maybe like a crab or something. This looks like. Oh, that's a bit of a stretch, but it's FNAF. It's the expect, the unexpected. Trace it out a little bit, his eyeball, his cracks in him. He has something like, it almost looks like he has like maybe like what his mouth is connected to like wires maybe. Well, I think that, all in all, I think that bon kind of Bonnie was, Glitch Trap Fire was put into Bonnie so Glitch Trap could take control of it. Also, Afton in the virtual world could take control of it to have a better suit, maybe more flexible like stronger maybe now that he has like Bonnie inside of him maybe he specially built pre-built Bonnie for this maybe to use him as a glitch trap suit so he's even right now as you can see he has like something connecting to the back of him maybe maybe someone is like puppeteering him I'm say I say someone's maybe puppeteering him there could be something like right here almost but that's really all I have that theory Another theory that I have is that Sun and Moon, these guys are evil. They're not nice anymore. How Sun was nice and Moon was evil. They're just straight up evil. Because we can see here. If we look here, that eye, like the, these, both these eyes are glowed up, representing the Sun and the Moon. But we can obviously see here. There is no moon really face plate. Cause you can see, actually no, you can see here it's mostly moon. This is moon's face, which is a sun eye and a moon eye with the sun stuff, sun hat. There is no reminiscence of a sun esque thing, and also it just looks like a moon in general with the face, the moon, with the black part of it. That could represent like the back part of the moon. I'm saying that 
Moon has fully taken it over because Moon seems to be like the Athen type of controlled side. He like Moon seems to be more the Athen controlled side. Sun seems to be like the basic animatronic, while Moon is like its alter ego, the Afton control side, the one who wants to kill and stuff for Afton. And it could have, you could have probably used him as well, either for parts or could have just plugged the same thing that we see in Noma's FNAF security breach where the animatronics look, they act different other than Freddy could have plugged that same virus x thing also see here go to to vanny suit i don't want an actual vanny suit see like right here right the eyes are like an orange ish red ish like yeah like a red maybe but people see it as red and what is this eye color red it could be because usually that, all animatronics, I think, I'm not thinking to why the heck that out of it. <laughs> SB1. There we go. Oh, yeah. I don't think I want to talk about. Maybe a three part, actually. Yeah, I think, in, all in all, I think that. Sun and Moon are just completely evil now. There's no going back. I'll probably make like one more theory video until the release of either one or two more theory videos until the release of Security Breach. I will run DLC. I will be playing it for either a live stream or making a multi-part video. What I'm gonna talk about is the SB Ruin teaser Im images. So there's a bunch of teaser images this one right here being the first you can see the place destroyed run down decimated window where cassie breaks in the sun's spearing like spewing through it you can see everything's rusted broken down tiles have taken out another one right here you can see it's clearly chica either probably eating the trash which he's Seems to mostly like be doing in number and uh, normal scared breach. Right here is a like one of those like little birds that kinda tip down to the water and stuff. This seems to be one of those right there. The kitchen burnt down, just destroyed. Like you can see like it's almost like burnt and stuff. Moldy pizza, all that just trashed. Here you can see Montgomery Gators, like a little catwalk area. It's broken from its little like, thing. It's about to collapse down. It's just destroyed. It's absolutely just destroyed. This is a brightened up version of it, which is a really good one. You can see there's like right here, Monty seems to be kind of like hiding from the player almost. Uh, Daco pointed out that maybe Monty would hide under things like right here hide under like ramps inside stuff maybe tall grass around the thing and surprise the player here's another image also that's showing that some wires almost like a pool maybe a little pool-ish area there's toxic waste bins right here here you can see the ride because we see in the trailer that or more importantly yeah basically the trailer that we kind of we kind of go in to the catwalk still. That's why these images are being teased still. They wouldn't tease that if we just weren't gonna go into it. So this could be what we go in on a broken down, just run down Monty, like ride. So, and also, this is a cool image. This is. I don't think this is a real image, but this is really cool. It's a really cool image. This could be used for the cameras, definitely. This could be able to use. It looks like kind of like a pop-out computer, one that you can kind of close in on itself. Here's some good artwork that we looked at last time. It looks like glitch trap infused, definitely glitchy, because we have not seen any other tra animatronic 
go into this virtual world other than Afton and anything which is fan concept. That looks really cool. We haven't seen any other tram like go into this virtual world on an other than anything that's other been controlled by Glitch Trap, Afton, etc. Um, Fanny probably has been, been controlled. This, like, random, like, Bonnie-esque thing. It's like Glitch Trap infused Bonnie. Afton himself, which Glitch Trap. And that's really all we really know. But it's gone into this virtual-esque world onto computers and stuff. That's all we really I all I really have to say for now. I'll probably make like one more two more thirty videos. Hope guys that is it for today's video, everyone. I hope you all enjoyed. Peace out and bye bye. Make sure to like and subscribe.